Hello, welcome to a new episode of Rotation Rotation. I got TJ with me today. TJ, what are you drinking today? I'm drinking the Bomb Pop. The, the Redneck Bomb Pop. Redneck Bomb Pop. Margarita thing, yeah. and I'm going to crack open a can of Colorado Native Golden Lager, just so you guys can see it. So today we got just a real kind of simple, easy episode. Uh, by the time this airs, this would have been out for a little bit over a month now, but I wanted to make sure that um, that this episode aired and hopefully you could find it uh, because when I first hunted this stuff down um, it wasn't easy to find uh, and that is the Cheetos mac and cheese I've got each flavor here I've got the uh, the regular but they call it uh, bold and cheesy mac and cheese and I've got the jalapeno and then I've got the flame and hot um, it took me three different Walmarts to secure all these and the last one was to look for the regular mac and cheese uh cheesy flavored the bold cheese bold and cheesy and it was literally the last box on the shelf and they had a lot of boxes i mean there was a lot of boxes of these still left so hopefully after you guys see this video these will be easier to find so we just wanted to taste them we wanted to see is this better than eating cr the craft mac and cheese you know all the mm -hmm. stuff we grew up on are you a fan of cheetos Cheetos I am. Yeah, I mean, I love Cheetos. Can't go wrong with Cheetos. And I'm not the biggest fan of Flamin' Hot. Like, I have to be in a mood for Flamin' Hot. You know? Well, uh huh, yeah. Well, the Flamin' Hot Cheetos, I'm not really into hot stuff, but I'm willing to try anything new. Yeah, yeah. And I've had the jalapeno uh, cheddar Cheetos. Those are pretty good. But of course, classic Cheetos is, is the way to go. And Cheetos has been coming out with um, different things, and they have been. Surprisingly good, especially they're, they've got um, Cheetos popcorn. If you have I, lo that. I love the Cheetos yeah, popcorn. Yeah, the Cheetos popcorn's good too. Don't. So um, I actually have a lot of high hopes for this. So we're going to taste these and we're going to just really decide w which one we think is best. So let's start uh, at the end here and uh, try the regular bold and cheesy, cheesy right. bowl. Mix it up a little bit. It, it is, it seems, first of all, they use the spiral noodles and not elbow macaroni, right? Yep. Um, I think, personally, I kind of think that there's two noodles that hold cheese well, and that's a shell and a spiral. So I'm glad that they went with spiral, because I think it holds it well. It smells good. Yes, it does. All right, going in. Let's see how it tastes. Holy crap, it tastes like a Cheeto. Wow. <laughs> wow. This is really good. Oh, my God. Kraft macaroni and cheese. Forget you. You're done. If I want macaroni and cheese, this is what I'm going oh with. Oh my god. It's good. This is really good. Oh. I could eat this whole bowl. I'm gonna, I'm, I have a feeling I'm going to eat all three of these bowls, TJ. This is excellent. It has that Cheeto cheese taste. And it clings really nice to mm -hmm. the noodles. Alright. Mmm. All right, I need to stop. I, yep. I could eat that whole thing. I'm not gonna lie. That is the best tasting. Mm. These are like a dollar, a dollar each, or something like that. You know, to compete with Kraft. And they, they're a little bit bigger. It looked like. I mean, we still have leftovers in the pans. <laughs> I mean, shit. Where have these been all my life? <laughs> oh, and there's one difference I noticed on these. What? There are you can microwave them. You can. Well, I think you can microwave regular macaroni and cheese too. But we made this on the oh, stove top. Okay. We went, we went, you know, old fashioned, old school, and did did the uh, did it. You no, know, look at this. It says on the back. It says, what does that say? That extra cheesy, crunchy. Go ahead. And that extra cheesy, uh, crunchy and creamy combo when you top your mac off with your favorite Cheetos snack. So they're basically stating oh. on the back, hey, try our macaroni and cheese and throw some Cheetos in there too. Shit, we should have. Do we have any Cheetos, Cheetos over there? Uh, uh, no. Damn. I usually have a bag uh. of snacks and I don't have any Cheetos. That's all right. No problem. That's all right. We'll keep going. All right, let's try the, um, the jalapeno. Mix it up a little bit. It smells like jalapeno. It smells good. Oh, yeah, it's going to be hot. Well, I don't know about that, TJ, but <laughs> let's see. 
Holy shit, this is good too. Wow. Oh, this is good. It's like lighter on the cheddar than the first one. But that jalapeno is there. I mean, it is bold. Mm -hmm, yep. That is a bold jalapeno. Um, it, it's, it's a kick. It's a spicy kick. It's not hot. But because these have been so accurate, I'm afraid this is going to be... Very really hot. flaming one's going to be pretty bad. TJ, I'm in trouble, wow. man. <laughs> these are really good. I might... I might buy every box of these on the shelf. Oh my gosh. Now, I heard that Walmart was just supposed to start with these. I heard eventually other stores were supposed to start carrying them. I don't know if that's true or not. Maybe you can let us know. But Well, I sure hope those are zoo because these are very good. They are very good. All right, TJ. Now, right. what does this one say? It said to, um, you can add Crunchitos Crunchy or Puffs topping, oh. they suggest, to the jalapeno. All right. Here we go. Flaming hot. <coughs> All right. Well, it, it smells like cheese. It smells like the first one. Yep. So it's deceiving. It looks like blood. It looks like something, some, some intestines that somebody ripped out. I'm going to just go for a full forkful here. Let's see. Um. Yep. Yeah, I don't know about you, but it's uh, oh yeah, yep, it, it's kicking in. Yeah, wait for. Um, it's got that flaming hot flavor, but it's it's not as pronounced as the snack. But it's 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 got it's got heat. There goes my nose. <laughs> um, yeah, there is definitely heat in here. As far as the flavor goes, it's all right. But then again, you don't really eat flaming hot stuff for flavor. You eat flaming hot for flaming hot, you know, for the for the bold heat that it that it produces. Is it good? I think it's good. I don't think it's the best of the three though. What are your thoughts on flaming hot? No. It is just like the Cheetos. It is hot. It is hot. Yeah, yeah. I don't. If I had more score these on a score of one to three, one being the best, the flame hot would definitely be the number three. Yeah, I would say uh, the jalapeno. Jalapeno would be the number two for me, mm -hmm. and the um, nacho cheese for me would be the number one. Yeah. Well, here's my thing. Here's, here's my take on it. I agree with you that Flamin' Hot would be the third best of the three. First of all, let me, let me preface by saying <coughs> what they advertise, Flamin' Hot, mm -hmm. Jalapeno, and Bold and Cheesy, they're not lying. That is what, what they advertise is straight up what you're getting. Um, so if you're into Flamin' Hot, more power to you. But I think we're looking at all three together. And I think of all three... Like I said, Flamin' Hot being the third. I am a jalapeno fan. Excuse me, I gotta go back to the first one for a while. <laughs> um, I'm a jalapeno fan. Just the one. I like jalapenos. I like things with a little bit of a kick. Not Flamin' Hot level kick, but I like things with a kick. So for me, I actually think the jalapeno was is better so that's my number one, and then the, the, the regular bold and cheesy is probably uh, number two for me, but um, it's just a, a preference. It's just a taste preference between the both of us. It doesn't mean, yep. you know, they're all, they're all, uh, to me, I'm, my mind is blown how good these are. Yeah, these are very good. Yeah, and I'm going <laughs> to sit here and finish at least eating... My two balls. I'm not going to finish the flaming Hot. but So that's going to do it. I suggest that if you can find these, run out and get them. If you're a fan of macaroni and you're a fan of Cheetos, you can't go wrong. And I, honestly, mm. 
Next time I see these, I'm going to get a bag of Cheetos, too, and throw some Cheetos in there. You know? Just that like sounds the really box good. suggests. So, congratulations, Cheetos. You knocked that shit out of the park, man. Yeah. You did a very nice job on these. All right. So, as I move along, we're going to end it. Thanks for coming. Let us know if you tried them. Let us know which one's your favorite. If you like the video, click the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Share it with your friends. And we'll see you guys next time. Say bye, TJ. Bye, TJ.